for a missionary to have the opportunity to work with a nursing group is absolutely exciting. Doors are being opened before the missionary even comes to the scene. I do feel that eventually that this may be a bridge or a path that we're blazing that Pastor Schultz may be able to use. It's nice that we can help them physically, but what matters the most is that we help save their souls. The need for what is now being called community ministry in locations such as the Dominican Republic, especially La Descubierto, close to the border of Haiti, the social needs couldn't be greater. Those things you and I take for granted, having nutritional food available, having clean water available, basic hygiene products, these simply do not exist. And we have the health issues that go along with this, this lack of, of the most basic personal hygiene. Imagine yourself as a Haitian or Dominican living in such an unhealthy environment and one day a bus arrives with nurses willing to give you a checkup, to diagnose especially skin problems, uh, nutrition concerns, etc. Um, to be able to diagnose these things, leave some medicines behind, leave some vitamins, leave an encouraging word, uh, give some health education. All of these services demonstrate the love of Jesus. I think we still have the same responsibility to act, you know, for Christ, to live a life for Christ as Christ would and, you know, we live only for that so, you know, we need to show that by being at these kinds of places and helping people who really need help. This is a pretty secular country and I want people to ask why. Why are these people coming down here to help us? A missionary, such as I, can then come in afterwards and bring the gospel message. This work is almost <laughs> too exciting uh, to describe. It's hard to stay in my chair. By the grace of God, by His power, having partnered with several orphanages, we met a man named Jesner, a Christian, and he has asked us to provide a religion curriculum to his orphanage. And by the grace of God, the headmasters have listened to our, our messages. They actually asked us our stance on infant baptism. When we began, there was not a single one of the nine headmasters in favor of infant baptism. By the grace of God, after hours and hours of, of Bible classes, we now have several headmasters who have asked us to return to baptize the children of their orphanages. A harvest of nearly 100 precious souls will occur. We are again so excited to have had this path cleared for us to have doors opened. Christ in action, love in action, have already been demonstrated. We've already seen this work effectively in Haiti. We will see this work again, God willing, effectively in the Dominican Republic. For a missionary to simply say that I am now connected with this work that has been done over several visits by Wells nurses, to be able to say I am with this group we believe in the same God. We believe in helping our fellow neighbor. We are not only concerned with your physical needs, we will now talk about the one thing needful. We will talk about spiritual concerns. The biggest reason I wanted to come down here was because I knew it would be an awesome learning experience on so many different levels. Professionally, we're here doing medical work, so we're learning a lot about the medical profession itself learning a lot about people of a different culture, which you don't get to experience back home, and spiritually bringing God's word, just through our actions even, to people who really need it. Faith in action, the word, the one way only to salvation, grace by Jesus Christ, brought in as a result of this nursing program. I am extremely excited 
to have uh, this group on board. I am honored to be able to partner with the nurses in bringing the saving gospel message to the people of Haiti and the Dominican Republic.